So, Martin, how does the border classification work? So, classification uh, and this uh, rating of uh, growth, basically, applies only to the chateau rather than a land. And when we're talking about the chateau, the, the producer, it applies only to the, in French, what is called Grand Vin, the first wine, the okay. best wine. Here we have a good example, basically. Here is uh, a wine made by Chateau Palma. So the first wine is called Chateau Palma. Yeah. And this is third uh, growth, yeah. third crew. And they produce also the second wine, which is called Alta Ego de Palma. And as it's the second wine, that classification doesn't apply to them anymore. So it's basically on the back, it just says it's a Margot wine. That's it. But it's not a third growth as it would be for first wine. Very nice wine. What would you recommend as being the top growth in that classification of Bordeaux? So I think the most famous way we could start with, it would be the first growth of 1855 classification. So first five growths, we got Chateau Latour, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, Chateau Mouton Rothschild, Chateau Margaux, and Chateau Haute-Brion. So those are by far the most famous. After that, if we're still staying with the left bank, with the Medoc, uh, there is kind of an official classification, okay? And that's uh, what is called a super seconds. So it's not written rules for that or anything, but because uh, original classification 1855 was created 164 years ago, obviously in that time a lot of things has changed. So the shadows who maybe been classified as a second in, a, in, in that rating, it's no longer producing the quality of a second rating. And the properties who in 1855 been producing at the fifth level, which is the lowest, currently may be producing wines in the level of a second or even sometimes first. Okay. Okay. So still on a label, you're going to see it's a fifth cru or fifth growth, but the quality is punching way above its own classification and it's called super seconds. So those I would mention, one of them is Chateau Palma. Yeah. Absolutely. In some vintages, it could produce not even a second crew level, but even the first crew level uh, wines. And they are third on official rating. Uh, Chateau Ponte Canet, the fifth, again, punching well above uh, its own classification and making wines in the quality what it's Mouton or, or Lafitte Rothschild, which is a neighbor of Ponte Canet, uh, does. Okay, so there are five official top growth, but then there's quite a few satellite growths which are just as good. As good or close as okay. good. That's why they called they they're not super, called super seconds. Yeah, they're not yeah. called super first. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they called super seconds. It's still, I think, those super seconds in the good years, they could perform similar or as good. Yeah. But if you take overall the thirst. Are still the first. <laughs> if you move from the left bank to the right bank uh, in Centimillion, uh, we got Centimillion classification and uh, the four top chateaus there it's Chateau Ouzon, Chateau Cheval Blanc, uh, Chateau Pavie and uh, Chateau Angelus. Chateau Pavie and Chateau Angelus have been upgraded uh, only in 2012. Okay. So classification is slightly different. Uh, it's reviewed every 10 years. After that, when we're talking about top wines in Bordeaux, we obviously need to mention Pomerol, okay? Pomerol. Yeah, that's the region we visited together. And uh, in Pomerol, there is no classification at all. So all wines, doesn't matter, they cost 10 euros or 2,000 euros, it's still Pomerol right. only, that's yeah. it. Yeah. But we got a, several superstars, not only within the region, but within Bordeaux and in the world, one of the best wines comes from the tiny appellation Pomerol. Mm. So of course we need to mention Petrus, the famous Petrus, uh, La Panne, La Fleur, uh, Vieux Chateau Sartan, just to mention a few, but it's a, several really, really good producers, basically. Since the creation of the Bordeaux classification system, has it ever changed? If you're talking specifically about 1855 classification, it changed only twice. The most famous change actually was in 1973, when Chateau Mouton Rothschild been promoted from a second to the first growth. Okay, and that was a really, really big thing. 
okay? Because in all that time, no changes at all. And he basically, Baron Philippe de Rothschild, uh, the man who arrived in, uh, in a chateau in the uh, uh, 1920s, he basically devoted all his life to perfection Mouton Rothschild and to get upgraded. So his famous saying was basically, I'm not a first, but I'm not a second too. Even he was second. He couldn't admit all his life he is a second, you know, because of the quality of wine he was producing. And he was saying, but I'm Mouton Rothschild. So he is effectively for himself and how he was saying to others, he was disregarding classification. He was Mouton Rothschild and he was going for the perfection. And after the 1973, when his dream finally came true, his saying was, had to change, obviously. So he was saying, now I'm a first, I've never been a second, I'm still Mouton Rothschild. Another one which not many people know, but is basically in 1855, after classification being done, and even that list was displayed in uh, Paris, in that famous exhibition, later on, another chateau being added. And if you look at the original document of that classification before the chateau's list, right at the bottom of the list, in the small letters, it's written Chateau Cantemir. And basically that was the one chateau added a few months later. The lady owner of that chateau at the time was very, uh, I would say, str strong-minded, very strong character lady. And she heard of that classification being done and what she's not included. She spent a lot of time and energy uh, to make sure she got on that list and she did manage to get it done. So that was two changes in 164 years. Wow. And it's no changes foreseen, I think, okay. any, <laughs> anytime soon. Out of curiosity, do you know how many chateaus were on the list originally? No. <laughs> okay.